Hi there, it's Jonathan with Car Generator. One of the things that people often ask is, how much gas does it take to run a car generator to idle your car? And a lot of people, there's a lot of misinformation where people think it's gonna use a lot of gas. Well, today we're gonna to actually have a look at the real numbers. So right now I'm in a Mercedes GLC 300. It's a typical gas SUV. Um, and it's got an interesting feature. You know how most cars now have a lot of them have a liters per um, 100, 100 kilometers or miles per gallon indicator. It shows you on your dash how much your gas you're using. Well, this car, what happens, it does an interesting thing when you're sitting at idle, you're not moving forward. It shows you on the dash how many liters per hour you're using by just idling, which is very useful for our purposes. So we can see right now that we're using, just sitting here doing nothing, 0 0.7, 0 0.8 liters per hour, roughly. So. Uh, we have a car generator hooked up to this car and the front of this car and I have it plugged we have a uh, watt meter here and we have a thousand watt space heater which we are going to go ahead and turn on and there it is it's running now and it is using 894 914 951 987 around a thousand just under a thousand watts so let's have a look back at this number here and you can see under consumption that running this car at idle with a thousand watt load space heater, which could also be something, something like your fridge is around 200 watts, your home gas or oil furnace is around uh, three or 400 watts. Um, so a thousand watts is a pretty decent amount to work with um, in that way. Um, and uh, consumption is 1.1 liters per hour. So just for fun, I'm gonna switch off the space heater and you can see we drop back down to 0.8 liters per hour, 0.7. So I'll switch it back on again. And um, we're back up to about 1.1, 1.2 liters per hour. And what's interesting about this uh, in gallons, that translates to around a third of a gallon. Um, so you can pretty easily calculate. That's why we say that pretty much any car out there can idle between 50 to 70 hours providing up to a thousand watts of power and that's it. So uh, that's very comparable to running a portable gas generator. So your car is a very efficient, very good and simple um, way to get power without having to buy another motor and store a bunch of smelly, dangerous gas cans. Just start your car and you've got power. Thanks for watching. It's Jonathan with Car Generator. Have a super day.